So let's move ahead with the next question in object oriented programming questions and answers video series what are classes and objects so as we have said in our previous uh, sections that classes and objects helps us to solve the problem of reusability so rather than thinking in terms of uh, functions or rather than thinking in terms of technical functions we think in terms of objects so let's first start with defining what a class is and what a object is class is a template it's a blueprint or you can say that it is a plan uh, while objects are instances of the class so you know you cannot use a class as it's directly if you want to use a class you have to create an object of it so you can think of that you know class is like a template and in order to uh, in order to bring that template live into the application you have to create an instance of the class or or in other words you have to create the object of that class now let's first start with uh, understanding that how you can write a class in c sharp and how you can create objects of the classes so to define a class in C Sharp, we use the class keyword. You can see that uh, we have defined a class called as a CLS product here, and there's a function in this class called as get total cost. Now this is our template. Now in order to use this template in your application or in your UI, you need to create an object. So you can see that I have set CLS product, which is nothing but the class, the name of the object, and then saying new the the class. So by using the new keyword, you can create objects uh, in your C Sharp application. So to define a class, you use the class keyword and to define an object of that class, you use the new keyword. And then later on, once the object is created, you can then make calls to the functions. So over here, when I created the object called as OBJ, I can now call up the function in the object saying OBJ dot get total cost, give whatever the value is and get the output. So here's the actual uh, code we have you can see that we have defined a product class called as CLS product uh, with the class keyword and uh, you, you can also see that we have defined a function called as get total cost which multiplies the quantity and the per product cost uh, now uh, we have two UIs uh, one is our single entry UI and what we have done is that we have created the object of product and we have displayed the value in the text box by using the get total cost function in the same way uh, in the functional two that is in my second screen where I'm going to do a data grid entry uh, over there also I have used my product class so in other words what we end up with is something like this we are actually now not copy pasting the code in both of the UIs we are basically creating objects of the same class so in this way we are actually reusing uh, the same class or the same code rather than copy pasting the code again and again in different UIs. So in this way we have increased reusability using object oriented programming. Now, uh, so if you run this project, you can get this source code from questpondvg.com. So if you run this project, uh, you will see that if I enter, let's put the discount as zero currently. So here's my, I entered one quantity and let's say I entered four and I say calculate by object oriented programming, I get three. And the same code I have used uh, in my second UI, which is a data grid entry. So again, the same thing here. And uh, you can see that it calculates the total cost. So this one is more of a grid entry kind of a screen, while the first one is more of a single entry. But both of them use the same class. And because of this, uh, we have decreased uh, redundancy and we have increased reusability. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. So just summarizing what we talked about uh, classes and objects, classes are templates, classes are prototypes and in order to use classes in your project, you need to create objects. So objects are more, more of like instances of the classes uh, while classes are uh, just uh, blueprints or templates. Uh, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video and in the coming up videos, uh, we are going to discuss about encapsulation, we are going to discuss about inheritance, we are going to discuss about uh, differences between abstract classes, interface and lot of things. I hope that even though this whole video series is basic, but you will still enjoy it even if you are a senior or even if you are a junior, because we have tried to stick to the basics and we have tried to actually show that what object oriented programming is all about. So I will really request that you see only one video in a day. In case you are a fresher, just look into one video in a day, think about it and understand the fundamentals. So see you in the coming up uh, videos.